Do you think that it's possible that you might be overreacting to your current situation? I think there's a chance that you might be. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the human nature, our tendency to overreact to our situations. Oftentimes what we do is we take what is a small issue and blow it way out of proportion because we overreact. See, there's a reaction that you give when things happen a certain way. And then there's overreacting. Overreacting is you exaggerating your reaction to a situation. It is you reacting in a way that is unreasonable in light of the situation at hand. I'll give you some examples of overreacting. Some examples include perhaps giving up on a relationship that is going somewhere simply because of a hiccup along the way. Or maybe it's quitting a job that has been working out for you and you had a bright future in that company simply because things became a little bit complicated along the way. You didn't like the way that things were going at the moment. It's very possible that you might be overreacting. We often make statements such as, my life is over when something happens. Can you think about it for a moment? Is your life really over when something simple happens or when an inconvenience happens in your life? Say, we say things like, I'm dead. Say things like, I'm finished. Nothing is ever really that final. And if you remember anything, if you want to write anything down, listen, nothing is ever really that final. You're not dead. It's not over. Your life is not finished. You're overreacting. And sometimes when we overreact, what we do is we take a drastic action to address something that is very simply, that very simply has a solution. Oftentimes things have a solution, but because we're overreacting, we are blinded to the solution. I'll give you an example of overreacting that we find in the Bible. In Mark chapter 4, you find Jesus in a boat with his disciples. And there's a storm all around them in the middle of the sea. And when the storm arises, we get to see two different reactions to the storm. On the one hand, it says that Jesus is sleeping in the stern. He's got his head on a cushion and he's sleeping in the middle of a storm. And then you've got his disciples who are screaming and shouting and pretty much at this point crying for their lives. And then they make, an ex uh, uh, they make a statement towards Jesus. They direct a statement at Jesus saying, Master, don't you care if we die? Don't you care if we die? And behind that statement is the implication that I'm about to die, we're about to die. Don't you care about any of this? Right? It's, it's the accusation that Jesus doesn't care and it is also the exclamation that I'm about to die simply because of a storm. And in our human nature, we think that this is justified. And that's the difficult thing about what I'm talking to you about because even in your overreaction, you think that you are justified. You think that your reaction is justified because of how terrible the storm around you is. So you don't see anything wrong with saying that you're about to die. And if you know the story, you know that Jesus wakes up and he addresses the storm, it says, peace, be still. And everything, everything is calm with just a word. And then he directs his focus to his disciples. And you would think that Jesus would be understanding to say that was a wild one, wasn't it? But he doesn't say that was crazy. He says, why do you still not believe? Why, why, where is your faith? Why are you still struggling to believe? And the assumption with this is, you should have known. You should have known that it was not as bad as you said it was. You should have known better than to, than to say something like, we're about to die. Should have known, you should have known better than to say something like, don't you care? Should have known better. That's what Jesus says. He doesn't say, I get it. You, you had a close one. So I want to say to you, you might be overreacting. Abortion is overreacting. Sometimes closing the doors on your business might be overreacting. For some of you, divorce might be overreacting. Some of you giving up on that relationship that is promising might be overreacting. You might be reacting in a way that is permanently destructive to something that can be fixed. 
And the reason why you're overreacting is because you lack faith, according to Jesus. According to Jesus, it's because you don't have the faith that things will work out for my good. And so you overreact in the middle of a situation that has an obvious solution. I remember I had a conversation with someone and they had just fallen pregnant and they fell pregnant while they were still a student in university. And she said to me, my life is over. My life is over. Either I'm going to have to abort this baby without anyone knowing or, or I'm dead. And as I was as I was listening to her, I said, that's that's very interesting. Because she was 21 years old, first of all. I thought about the fact that my mother had me when she was 19 years old. It hardly seems like her life ended. And I'm so glad that I am here today. I'm so glad that she didn't overreact to something that was so simple. And so I remember I had a conversation with her and I said to her, what do you mean your life is over? What do you mean it's over for you? What do you mean you should probably terminate this baby or your life is over well my parents are gonna ha 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 well also my studies i'm in my final year and ha 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 i said do you know that there are people who have been exactly where you are right now and they figured it out so i said to her let's just sit down and imagine five years from now let's just imagine that you don't abort this baby and five years from now or ten years from now we're sitting having a conversation What's the worst that you think will have happened after all those years? Well, I guess I could figure it out. So do you think you might be overreacting right now? I guess so. I'm overreacting. Some of you have given up on things way too soon. You've, you've given up and that was an overreaction. I'm telling you now, giving up just might be overreacting. So what do you think? about your reaction to your current situation? How do you think you're handling it? Oftentimes, anxiety is a result of overreacting. Right? Overthinking a situation that has a solution. And if you would just allow yourself to be at peace, if you would allow yourself to be still, you would realize that there is a solution. So, that's my word to you. My word to you is, you're overreacting. You're about to give up, and that's an overreaction. You're about to close that business, and that's just overreacting. You can figure it out. Just pause, breathe, think about it. And I promise you, in due time, you will figure it out.